Hi, Barbara Friedberg here of Barbara Friedberg Personal Finance. If you've got money, if you have investments, then you probably want to keep track of them. You want to know how much your money is growing. How are your investments performing? Are you saving enough? Are you investing enough? Are you spending more than you earn? Are your investments doing worse than they could be? Well, if you have these types of questions, then you're, want, you're going to want to listen up to this Empower versus Sig, Zigma review. These are both two free, although Zigma does have an upcharge for more advanced accounts and features, portfolio tracking apps. Now, one does offer more budgeting, saving, and spending, and retirement planning information, while the other offers more depthful investment portfolio analysis. So you're going to find that each one of these might be appropriate for a different type of investor. Although, since they both have a free plan, you might want to check them out yourselves. I know I have accounts at both of them, and I don't pay a thing. I have the free accounts at Empower and Zigma. And we're going to take a dive into similarities, differences, what they will help you do, what they won't help you do. And then you can make the decision for yourself which one or both are right for your portfolio management. Let me digress a little. Back in 2022, you might remember the markets took somewhat of a tumble. Well, I was meeting with an elder relative who said, I'm a little bit upset. I'm checking my investment balances every day. And what I said to her was, are you out of your mind? You do not need to check your investment balances every day. Remember, the money you're putting in the investment markets is for long-term goals, at least five to seven years out, and typically for retirement and decades away. Which means, yes, you want to monitor and track your investments, but not every day. Four times a year, twice a year, even once a year is really okay. Now, Empower and Zigma are going to help you keep on top of those investments. And also, Empower will help you a little bit with your spending and saving and budgeting. This is an article. You'll find it on my website. I'll put a link to it in the bottom. You'll also note that we do have some affiliate links to sign up for both of these free programs. If you use our links, our company will get a small commission. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So the article covers all of the features, all of the in-depth. We're going to touch the surface, give you the basics, and then you can decide if you want to delve in and learn more or not. So at a glance, Empower Portfolio Tracker is free. It has a suite of banking, spending, retirement, net worth, and investment analysis tools. Their retirement planner alone is worth signing up for Empower, makes it worth signing up for Empower. Their investment checkup gives you an idea of whether your investments are in the right asset allocation and whether you could be reducing your fees and increasing your returns by making a few tweaks. If you have over $100,000, you are eligible for a free portfolio analysis by a certified financial planner. And I've actually gone through that and it was really, really helpful. So empower pros and cons. Interactive retirement planner, portfolio improvement recommendations. You'll get budgeting, saving, spending, cash flow management reports, and an awesome dashboard. The net worth tracker, and this is one of the things I really love about Empower, is you can link up your investment, your bank, your debt accounts, your mortgage, and they even link with the Zillow app, which tells you the value of your mortgage to make your net worth data even more accurate. They have a beta crypto component as well, so you can get values on your crypto and include that in your overall net worth too. Again, fee-free, but wait a minute, nothing is free. So here's the catch. Empower free tools are a lead magnet or a way for the Empower company to develop a relationship with you. And so they offer these awesome free tools and they are really good, but here's what is required from you. Of course, you log in, you link up your accounts, and then they request that you schedule an appointment to talk with one of their financial advisors. So that's kind of the cost for you. We all know the saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Okay, so what are the cons? Well, limited budgeting tools. I mean, if you really want to delve into budgeting, you want to get into something like Quicken or You Need a Budget or Mint. The reports, with the exception of the retirement planner, which is amazing, um, offer limited customiz customiz z boy, this is not a word, customization. Got to go back and change that one. And I do have a tutorial on using Empower. Of course, it used to be called Personal Capital. Everything's the same except the name has changed. So before we go on to look at Zigma, I'm going to give you a picture of Empower homepage. This is what it looks like. They do have a cash account, which provides high yield 
returns on your cash. You don't have to sign up for anything else. This is fee free. And, you know, look, if you've got some cash, I don't know who's going to complain about a 4.7% uh, interest rate, although that would change depending on market interest rates. You get the free dashboard, free second opinion. If you have a higher net worth, you have personalized investment portfolio information, bird's eye view of your finances. And then they also have other services as well, of course. And security, every platform that we're talking about here has top level security. So let's get a view at my Empower account. I linked up, you link up your accounts and this is where you get all the data. I linked up one retirement account. So obviously if you only link up one account, you're gonna get a very limited and partial view. But this is a picture of the dashboard. Now we'll come back to this after we delve into Zigma a little and you'll get a little more of the details about the Empower platform. So let's go back to the article and we'll get to Zigma. Zigma is an investment focused portfolio tracker. It's great for beginning to advanced investors who want to really delve in and tweak their portfolios, their investments, analyze them, and even screen for new investments. It's designed for the self-directed, principally long-term investor. And you get uh, a score on your portfolio. You get fundamental analysis and um, technical analysis information, back testing, and they have a free plan for just one account. So if you've got more than one account, you're going to need to pony up, but the, the fee is pretty low. It's under 100 bucks a year, and you can pay monthly or annually. Pros and cons. The Zygma score, and I think this is like super, super cool. Let's go down and look at that. This gives you a score on a certain stock or ETF, and this one's talking about Salesforce. Salesforce. So you get the growth score, profitability, valuation, and financial health. That's very unique in a really handy way to just get a back of the envelope look at uh, your stock. And they also have sector uh, metrics as well. So um, they have tools to optimize your portfolio's performance and risk. They have lists that I think are really helpful for those that actively manage their portfolio. Things like top stocks, they have model portfolios, guru portfolios that help that follow top name investors and give you investment ideas. The portfolio tracker presents performance, fees, dividends, and ratio analysis all in one screen. Now, I haven't linked up any of my accounts, but I have opened an account at Sigma, so I can kind of dig around the portfolio, I mean, around uh, across the tool. This is their homepage before you log in, and this is what their dashboard looks like. We'll go in and look at mine a little more closely. You track the real-time performance, asset splits, dividends, fees across all of your investment accounts. Okay, so it's a little bit easier to see here. These are your menu items down the left. So you have a portfolio simulator, a back testing tool, a screener, and here's the top 50 stock list I mentioned, the guru portfolios list, the model portfolios list. I really think the back tester is pretty useful as well as the portfolio simulator. Now your dashboard is gonna have for your overall portfolio, your aggregate Zigma stock score, your aggregate dividend yield, how much the average growth is on your portfolio for the holdings, climate, if you're interested in ESG, this is a metric for you, um, return on assets, percentage growth, carbon footprint. So let's, here's where you link your accounts, secure through Plaid, which we all know is very a secure portal. Here's your dividend tracker, your sector by sector analysis, and then these, this is a list to help you, you know, choose your stocks. And if you're interested in, say, the automobile and trucking industry, you think that's going to go well, here are the top stocks in that industry. So let's take a jaunt over to my sample portfolio. And here is a mix. I don't own any of these things. It's just an account, uh, kind of a dummy account that was set up on my behalf. And so here's the performance. You can look at that over time. News related to the performance. Here, here are the holdings in this performance. And then you can take a look at what these features look like. So if you want to try out a simulation of what a particular addition or subtraction to a portfolio, the impact it would have on your portfolio, the simulator is really nice. So you can put in the information here and then you find out the impact. So it'll tell you about the stock, the sector, diversification, um, profit growth, yield uh, before the trade. And then after you put it in, it'll show you what post-trade, after the trade, with 
this asset in your portfolio, how it will impact potentially, because we all know the future is not guaranteed, will impact your future portfolio performance. And I think this is really helpful when you are making investment decisions. We talked about the back testing, um, and here you can handle all of that. Screener, I'm not super crazy about. It's okay. There are, I think, some of the brokerage accounts may have a little bit more detailed screeners, but you can get a lot of free screeners online too. I don't think you would sign up for Zigma just if you're looking for a screener. Top 50 stock list. Okay, so here's what you get on the free plan. Here's what you get on the premium plan. Obviously, to have access to the top 50 stock list, you will need the premium plan. But as long as we're on the screen, we'll just go over the free plan. You get the analytics dashboard, portfolio tracking screener. You can only link one investment account. You get the stock scores on your holdings, um, stock profiles, and a dividend schedule. But if you take the premium plan, and it does have a seven-day free trial, which is nice to check it out, you can link unlimited investment accounts. So if you have two or more accounts, it's going to be really helpful. You get access to all this, of course, um, and full access to all Zigma stock scores. Portfolio similar simulator smart alerts, which you can set up alerts not only for pricing, but like different metrics like the price earnings ratio or other types of metrics that you might be tracking. Guru portfolios. Uh, these are the investors whose portfolios you would have access to, as well as different model portfolios, which I think is really useful if you're, you have specific goals like this is a 60 40, 60 stock, 40 bond, high yield portfolio, climate impact, low beta, 10 top 10 growth NASDAQ stocks. So you can see Zigma really offers a lot in terms of investment analysis. What you don't see at Zigma, you do not see any budgeting tools. The free version only tracks one account and the screener is adequate, not the best online. So to sum up, you would sign up for Zigma if you really wanna do some close to institutional research on your investment portfolio without the big institutional price tag. If you're, if you're looking more for a comprehensive budgeting and um, saving, spending, tracking tool, Zigma's not for you. And as I promised, we're going to go back to Empower for one more quick look around so you can see some of the build out of their features. And then we'll wrap up and let you get back to your life. So here is my, like I say, one portfolio account. It is totally non-diversified. So uh, these will reflect that. My net worth, according to this, includes my one account. Transactions. These are the different transactions that have occurred in this account. Now, here are the banking tools. Now, obviously, this is not my checking account. So, you know, I don't have any saving and spending stuff here. But if I did, you get cash flow, you get income, and you get expense data, which is super helpful. Now, the investing is really good. I love the U index. So this takes your investments and it matches up with the S&P um, or other indices and, and shows how you have performed. Of course, the key is if you've got a stock and bond portfolio, well, comparing it totally with the S&P 500 stock index doesn't make sense because you're not comparing apples to apples. So this is interesting, but you need to take it with a grain of salt. See, this account only has three holdings. So again, non-diversified, but understand if you linked up all of your other accounts, you'd have a whole bunch of different information here in your net worth category. Um, I like the allocation. I think this is really interesting. So cash, stocks, alternatives, and then they break it down by percentage totals. And you can also compare it with a recommended asset allocation. The investment checkup, will assess your existing portfolio and tell you how you can improve. And it goes into a better alternative allocation to improve your return and give you, okay, this is where they want me to sign up with a financial advisor. So that's the price you pay for using this free tool. Um, so this is my current allocation. This is the one they recommend. Now keep in mind, I've got other accounts that are not linked here. And so obviously in my overall portfolio, I have a better asset allocation. But if you link all of your accounts, it's really a good way to figure out, do you have a diversified portfolio? And then finally, one more thing. And if you use Empower for nothing else than the retirement planner, I believe it is worth it because they enable scenario analyses. 
So obviously, if this was my only account, I would not be on track for retirement. But if you have more accounts, you've got them listed, then you can get a projected portfolio value. You can input different, put in different income events, savings, social security. You can add in different spending goals. You can edit your assumptions for tax rate, inflation rate, life expectancy. And then you can modify all this stuff and choose and see how these changes will impact your retirement nest egg. So again, Empower is free, except for your kind of obligation to have a quick chat with an investment manager. Other than that, I think it's a fair price to pay for this free tool. Empower also does have investment planning. If you have at least $100,000, they offer a full service wealth management platform. And of course, they would like you to sign up for that. That's another reason they're giving this tool away for free. And we all understand that. Every company is not in the business of giving things away for free. They have to earn, um, they have to earn enough money to pay for their company. So I think I've given you enough disclosures, enough information for you to make a decision whether you want to sign up for Empower, Zigma, or both, because sign up is free with both. You can learn more in this report. And here is an overview comparison between Empower and Zigma. The bottom line is if you're a serious investor and you want to do some in-depth portfolio analysis and selection of assets, Zigma is a really good tool. On the other hand, Empower does a great job with asset allocation, with recommending a better asset allocation, with doing an investment checkup, and with an investment fee analysis. Their retirement planner is very, very, very good. So my suggestion is, why not sign up for both? Um, and then you can decide, do you want, do you want that in-depth Sigma um, portfolio analysis? And then you can pay up if you want more detailed investment analysis. So that is our wrap up and you can read the article. I'll link to that. We also have another article which compares Quicken and personal capital. And I think that would be useful as well. And we'll put a link to that article too. Thank you so much for watching. Please put your comments below. I'm really interested in responding to your comments, ideas to make this video better. Please sign up for my channel, subscribe, give me a like. And if you do, um, sign up for Empower or Sigma with one of our links below. As I mentioned, our company will receive a small affiliate uh, commission, which helps us bring these videos to you. See you next time. Bye.